Hey YouTube. So I have um, Venus OS running on a Android device. Nothing new, but I'm actually using a 10.1 inch touchscreen now. So I did get that working. So you can go to firmware and all that good stuff. And I also have a USB, a smart shunt plugged in via USB. So currently I'm doing a little battery test and running a heater. That's what they do in Canada. We run heat because we're always cold. Anyways, we're drawing 54 amps at 12.89 volts, 706 watts currently coming out. The battery state of charge is 95%. Um, we've only consumed 15 amp hours so far. Um, this touchscreen is actually nice. It's um, you know, you go to page. You can click pages. It all talks about your battery, AC loads, and stuff like that. Um, you know, it's pretty sensitive too. Like it's not not bad at all. You know, you can go back and forth. No alarms, AC loads. You know, stuff like that. Like it's it's pretty good. Anyways, you can just sit back and forth between stuff. Tap it once. If I can get it to work here, hang on. There we go. Back to menu. Back to my shun. So it's not bad. Anyways, um, I can't remember the name of who manufactures it. I will put it down um, in the video link who manufactures it. I'm using a Raspberry Pi 3 because that's what I had. But you can get it working on a Raspberry Pi 4 as well um, without any issues. Anyways, these are the batteries I'm testing. So just going to run a quick test tonight, probably 15 minutes discharge test um, and see how the batteries do. There's my smart shunt. I did pick up a, uh, a Victron charge controller as well. Um, I'll be using that. So this is all going to be actually going into my, uh, my RV. I haven't decided what I'm doing as far as we're going to keep it 12 volts this year and then switch up to uh, 24. But anyways, this is the smart controller I'm using the 100 slash 50. I'm going to have to pick up a um, Victron DC to DC so that I can charge off the alternator as well at some point. But, you know, it's only February. I won't be using the RV for another three months. So not a big deal. Um, oh, it's also using this cheap Chinese Nova Pal um, sine wave inverter. We've used these a few times. It's got a nice little LCD screen. Let me see if I can zoom in on that for you. Tells you your load, your current temperature of the unit, all the good statistics. This voltage um, right here shows 12.5, but the Victron is actually showing 12.89. Um, and my little meter here that's measuring the cell voltage is showing 12.9. So the cells aren't too bad. Um, 3.2, you know, the first cell's still got more voltage in it, but not by, not, not a big swing, so it's not too bad. Anyways, I'm going to run this for another 5 to 10 minutes, and then uh, I'm going to charge it back up, because I made some new cables, so see you later.